have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. <laughs> red bean paste, so. The southernmost prefecture of Japan is the tropical paradise of Okinawa. Formerly known as the Ryukyu Kingdom, Okinawa is comprised of over 150 islands that are rich in history, unique culture, and complete natural beauty. It has a completely different vibe than in mainland Japan. It's much more slower paced and laid back. We have been living in Okinawa for three and a half years now because my husband is stationed over at Kadena Air Force Base. And typically we would be moving on to our next duty station, but we love it here so much that we did decide to apply to IPCOT, which was approved. And if you are not military, and IPCOT is basically an in-place consecutive overseas tour. So that means we get to stay here until the end of 2026. From the safety that this island offers, the wonderful kind people that live here, and its complete natural beauty, we do absolutely adore it here. I hope this video shows you the beauty and magic of this island and why we love it here. I will post pins for everything that I list in the description below if you want to check it out yourself. So whether you're moving here, want a glimpse of life here in Okinawa, or you need some ideas for your Okinawa bucket list, I'm happy to share and I hope you enjoy the video. Today we are a safety volunteer for the Naha Tug of War. This is an annual event in Okinawa and it's super special. It is the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest tug of war. So we're pumped to be a part of it. The tug of war is an annual event held every October. It's three days of festivities, and it started around 1450, but was reintroduced in 1971. Roads downtown Naha are shut down to accommodate more than 250,000 attendees. The day of the tug of war begins with a procession of Hatagashira banners, which represent the 14 districts of Naha. There are martial arts performances and historic representations of the rival kingdoms between the East and the West. In 1995, the rope was certified by Guinness Book of World Records as the largest tug of war featuring the largest rice straw rope used in a tug of war. Each side tries to pull the rope five meters or for 30 minutes, whichever comes first. Everyone celebrates after and you can take a piece of rope home with you for good luck.
This is so cute. Each little one has like a, a state with the names of the businesses on the street. This is Coco Foo. And oh, I, this is what I got right here. This is absolutely one of my favorite parts of Okinawa. Even without your typical curb appeal, Oki cafes have a personality of their own and there are so many hidden gems. Whether they're tucked away in an alley or they sit beachfront, you won't be pressed to find a cafe to add to your list. It's super important to support local businesses and the main ways I've found cafes in Okinawa are through recs from friends, scouring Google Maps, and honestly just going for walks around town. What I found super sweet within the Oki cafe culture is that they really support one another. Cafes will promote other cafes by placing out business cards and posters for local community events, and it just fosters a really supportive environment. It's also helped us find other spots we might normally wouldn't have found. Chris is about to get a cheesecake from a vending machine, which we didn't know existed until we were browsing Google Maps today. What do you think? Yeah? More popular in Kyoto, tea ceremonies are a historic Japanese custom, but you can still experience one right here in Okinawa. I did this recently with some of my friends and it was so much fun. Dressing up in a beautiful kimono was an experience in itself, and it was so fascinating to learn about the history of this Japanese tradition. Our sensei, Kaori-san, taught us how to prepare tea for each other and shared sweets with us that were made with seasonal ingredients. If you're not able to do this in mainland, I think this is a great option while you're in Okinawa. What are we doing today? We're going to dive. We're going diving. A lot of dives in Okinawa are just shore dives and it should be fun. It's kind of a rainy day. I don't have a dive housing yet, so we weren't able to take it super deep. But we saw like three turtles here, sea turtles. It was so awesome. Tons of fish. The reefs here are beautiful. Super cool. That was 
was a tough one. <laughs> this view up here. This is a longer course than I would have imagined. This is really, really fun. Perfect for a blue sky day. How's it feel? I was just down below, but now I went up to see the view and this is magical. This is exactly why I love Okinawa for stuff like this. of Okinawa I have seen personally in my short time here so far. <laughs> this is epic. 360 degree views. Okay, this Nakajin castle is a world heritage site. So it is castle ruins and it is unreal. You can climb up this castle or part of the ruins and you have an ocean view. What a beautiful view. If you made it to the end of this video, first of all, thank you. Ever since my Nepal video did well, it almost made me be a little more apprehensive. Like, wow, there are actually some people watching this, which I'm sure sounds weird for someone that started a YouTube channel. Like what else could I possibly expect? On a personal note, I took a leave of absence from work just for November, since they are kind of overstaffed this time of year. So I've had more time in Okinawa, which has been such a dream. I do go back to flying in December and fingers crossed they offer more leaves, but we'll see. I do love work, but I love Okinawa just a bit more. Once again, you guys, thanks again for being here and I will see you in the next one.